Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're here taking a look at a game that literally popped up on our uh, Switch this morning. Uh, Lost Sphere. Yeah, just wandering around the eShop. Found saw it had a demo, so... I mean, I wander around the eShop pretty regularly, so the fact that it didn't pop up till like, today means it couldn't have been more than a day or two ago that it popped up. Yeah. I mean, you've seen my wish list. I have seen your wish list. Also known as the main... Uh... <laughs> the main store page. There's a lot of good games. I'm... Yeah. Oh, well, that's... But no, I mean, like, we've both been, like, looking forward to Octopath Traveler and uh, other games that are coming out this year. Uh, but I haven't heard anything about this. And it's even another Squeenix title, so I, I don't know how it flew under the radar, but here we are. Here's the problem with RPG demos is there is a lot of jargon going on here. So you have to go to Lost Points to make artifacts that change the rules of things. At least it lets you rewind and fast-forward dialogue in case you missed something. Okay, so we have to head to Rahat, and that's apparently not it. We need a compass. Northeast of Marport. Okay, that's <laughs> not useful. I'm wondering if it's because it's a demo, we may have been put right in the middle of something instead of, like... I can't imagine this is how the story starts, you know what God, I mean? I hope not. You got okay, a honey got, apple? That's neat. Oh, man. I wonder if there's different varieties of apples, like, uh... Like Chuck, Chuck Wenig's t uh, Twitter, where he goes over like uh, different heirloom apples. That could be. What's what's this? Maybe it'll be a farming game. Harvest. Harvest world tree, which greatly increases attack. Uh, see mini maps on the world map. Mini maps might be useful. I feel like a map might help. Can we do Mystic Eye? Yeah. Yeah, okay, what I was Okay. So I think the overworld map looks like you get to build stuff. Alright. So that's neat. Okay, got rid of some fog of war. Good. So I know what I'm building more of. I like being able to see. Yes, let's make for sacred I okay. gotta say, they almost might have been, uh, been better off just giving us a fancy cutscene. You know what I mean? Rather than a demo of Whatever what am I doing? Is. It looks nice, though. I like I like our little JRPG crew. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's useful. How'd you do that? Uh, trigger. Okay. Wait, do we have to get to that yellow dot? Pull, pull the big map up. Uh... I think we're going to the blue dot. Where's the blue dot? Above our head. Oh, okay. Oh, man. But I don't... We need context badly. Like, I don't I don't mean to be one of those people who's like, Oh, look, I don't know how to play the game. But I, I really but, feel... Oh, look, I don't know how to play the game. I don't, yeah, I really don't. <laughs> like, it's not giving us a whole lot of... Like, I mean, there's a lot of information, but it's all without context. I mean, right, it'd be like if it gave us a bunch of ones and zeros and we were supposed to make the game out of it. Let's go with another mystic guy so we can see our enemy's stats in battle. I guess. I don't... Yay! Neat. We can't make more of those. Momentum charge. That's... I don't even know what a momentum charge is, so... Yeah, it, it looks like we can boost our stats with these things. That's cool. Discover more items? Sure. Why not? I wonder if this is going to go all uh, tower defense on us, since we're, we've got a map and we're building stuff on it. If we're going to have to try and, like, control territory or something. Well, that could be a thing. 
Okay, so the blue spots are those things we've created. Okay. So maybe we do have to go to yellow dot? We got two halt memories, whatever. Uh, okay, that's what we used to build the thing. Oh. Those memories. It's like a secret of mana build your own world map dealy. Or, uh, or Dark Cloud. Yeah. It said Harvest. Well, that's just what that point was called. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, is there a resource management part of this where we're, like, collecting stuff from the stuff we made? Oh, boy. Okay, so... I saw a path over here. That mountain thing. Yeah, but I mean, is it a place or is it just scenery? I don't that, know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna there. grab this shiny thing first. I imagine apples are healing items because they usually are. That was gonna be my guess. They sound like low-level healing items. Oh, look, sacred or a hat. <clears throat> oh. Okay, that's neat. I didn't see that on the map. Did you? Nah, I think we uncovered it when we built one of those things. But there wasn't a waypoint. I mean. Okay, so we have to outflank some theoretical bad guys. Okay. Oh, hey, look, a dude. Oh, he's a traveling merchant. Fortify equipment. Oh, you've got some kind of magicite that you can uh, improve weapons with. Yeah, okay. Well, it looks like you came with weapons and armor. Need you don't think we'll have things. to equip them like Final Fantasy 1, do you? I... Yeah. I mean, it did sort of throw us in the middle of everything like Final Fantasy 1 did, so... All bets are off. Hmm. Like, I don't know what combat looks like yet. That's true. Well, I think we're finding out. I'm assuming it's not random, simply because I think we would have run into something by now. Alright. Do you have to fight that bird? Your way around has been blocked by something that's been lost? We used memories to clear that fog. Okay. So when we built stuff, the fog went away, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think I think they lost something, and so that's literally a place they can't go. Ah, I hate my brain. I just thought of something dumb. Anyway. We'll share with the class. <sighs> that stupid <laughs> Knuckles meme. You're trying to find the way. Okay, yeah. Because my no, brain is full dumb. of a toxic soup of Twitter right now. That's fair. Okay, so why is Volco suit functions? Okay. You're just making up words now. Look, I'm not the one who designed the RPG. An artifact effect? Okay. Blow now. Okay, so active time battle system, alright. Okay, I at least know what those are. You know what that is. I've played enough earlier Square Enix After productions. selection, which action? Right, there's a timer. It's time-based. Okay. You're fighting a white flapper. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got him right in the flip-flappers. Okay. Okay, so I guess there's, like, attack arcs, yeah. so some people are, like, good at AoEs. And if they're standing next to each other, I can... Oh, I see, like that. Oh. I hope there's no friendly fire. There isn't. Good. Well, <laughs> I mean, we needed to answer those questions eventually. Okay, so different people have different arcs then. Neat. Um. Well, looks like the big dude doesn't have much in the way of attack power. It kind of. Uh, he looks like some kind of mage. I mean, he's got a staff. Okay, so we got some chicken and memories. Chicken and memories. Not quite as savory as chicken and waffles, but we'll take it. So, that kind of reminded me of uh, Grandia's fight system. Can you interact with that bit. fluffy cloud? 
How do I hit it? That is a good question. Skills? No, I don't look like. But it reminds me yeah. a little bit of the Grandia battle system. A little bit. I mean, it's turn based, so it's not as fluid as the, the Grandia one, but like the arc and positioning thing being so important. Okay, it's a large lump. We've forgotten a large lump. That sounds like something you talk to the doctor about. No, forget about it. <laughs> oh, neat! It's a rock I can't break. Good job, team! <laughs> so you forgot about a rock. But it wasn't and everybody's a rock. everybody's amazed. It was a rock lobster. Don't actually, say that. I'll have to fight the... Actually, it would be... Oh, the B-52s? <laughs> I didn't sing much. We're probably fine. That being said, I wish it would turn into a rock lobster and that was the memory that you forgot, because that would be interesting. But, I mean, really, everyone's navel-gazing at this point. <laughs> I'm proud of you for remembering that rock that we forgot about. Oh, oh, maybe that'll let you break rocks. Okay. So that's a thing. We better wear our Volko's... Volko suits. Volko brand suits. Never have to iron them. They're immune to irony. Yeah. Uh, so why don't we just... Oh, Maybe beauty. they're horribly uncomfortable. Okay. Or yeah, there's a point that you need. All right, well, let's try breaking the rock out of... Whoa, hello. Oh! You look like... You look like Beetleborgs. Yeah, that... This wasn't the art style I was expecting. This is more a Kira Toriyama's deal. Did you free a ghost and get turned into Beetleborgs? Is that what's going on? Ooh, Do you remember yeah. Beetleborgs? Vaguely. I remember the time jet. No. No, that was VR Troopers. No, no. Be Beetle Beetleborgs... Uh, Wait... They read a comic book about Beetleborgs, which oh, were like a Sentai right, hero team right. with robot bug suits. And they freed a ghost at a mansion, and he granted them a wish, and they wanted to be the cool thing from the comic. But I guess that's a double-edged sword? Because it made everything from the comic real, including the bad guys. So they inadvertently made their world the world of the comic. At least, that's the American version. I'm sure there's probably... Like most of the Saban shows, like, I'm sure there's a completely different story if I watched the Japanese version. Uh, like, Power Rangers, what I remember growing up on, is, like, vastly different from, uh, Gokaiju, which is the Japanese show that we, like, cut and pasted together. You know, I was actually kind of hoping that you didn't remember it, though, so that I could, you know, like, joke about, oh, it's a, it's a memory that we have to unlock. Quick, go punch something. But it was a half-baked joke, so I'm glad you did. I'm just... I'm just pressing buttons, and I don't know what's going on. I think it's funny that you look like you're powering up in those giant suits to punch a bird. <laughs> a bird that you killed in one hit without suits. Oh, man, it's super dangerous. There might be two white flappers. Better put on our giant cybernetic monster suits. Yeah, we're just not. I guess we are. Well, you gotta punch rocks. You gotta go kick rocks. Oh boy. Okay. So... I was about to say, did you forget about a tiny box canyon? Is that what we forgot? But there was a climbing area, so I guess we're good. Okay. I like the little sandy guys. They're very cute. Yeah. Although, I just noticed I think they have teeth in addition to beaks, which is always a little unsettling. But it looks like they're wearing little hats. They're very cute. Uh, the, uh, the, flap the flappers just look like seagulls. They're fantasy seagulls. Uh, and growing up on the beach, I've never found seagulls to be fun or cute or anything other than, like, thieves of bread. That's fair. <laughs> like, Wingo was never a, a, a favorite in my party. Nothing against him, but I'm pretty sure he's there to steal hot dogs off the boardwalk. 
and poop on popped, uh, parked cars. So I gotta see, I'm, I'm not really seeing the point of the robot suit. Well, I guess you're not fighting anything big yet. I suppose. I'm guessing there's a story reason for them. Like, you know, you need these in order to traverse the harsh wilderness or to survive, I don't know, in the, like, 10,000 degree heat of the, you know, the molten marsh or Well, so something. far I need them because we haven't managed to invent a man portable sledgehammer. But we have robot suits. Well, they're, they're labors. Um. Or those robot suits from uh, Final Fantasy VI. Oh, yeah. They okay, actually, why did you they... get yourself surrounded, people? <laughs> actually, they kind of remind me of... Uh... I lost it. Um, they look like the top half of the suits from VI. Because oh, yeah. the suits from six were all legs, and these look to be all upper body. Like these ones, That's true. These suits skipped leg day, but I bet if you combine them with the suits from uh, six, you'd have like a full neck suit. The main character is getting owned, which is funny because <laughs> if he's like the main character in any other JRPG, he probably deserves it. <laughs> I was just thinking of twelve, where uh, you could never be trusted to leave the main character oh, to his own devices man. for a moment. Van would walk directly into the mouth of a monster and <laughs> declare it, you know, like, eat me. Do it. I dare you. You're not monster enough to chew. <sighs> I'm we nothing, got moon armor. I'm nothing but gristle and angst. You can't chew me up. Uh, and then the T-Rex monster would prove me wrong. Every time. Arm of the Gleans faintly like the moon. So it's got the same stats, it's just poison resistant. Well, I mean, that means it's a direct upgrade, I suppose. Well, I lose my dark resistance. Oh, okay. Lateral move, then. <laughs> Although, who knows? Maybe everything's about to be really, really poisonous. That's probably gonna be what happens here. Oh, you don't eat the honey apple food. Huh. There's a lot going on here. And I feel like I feel like once we get a look at like the manual or whatever the tutorial looks like, it'll be fine. You know? Like not to not to unnecessarily poop on a game before it's actually out. But I feel like this is throwing us into maybe the deep end a little bit. Just a tad. I feel like I feel like it's gonna spoon feed me some of this in a way where it all makes a little more sense when, like, the full game's out. But this really would have benefited from, like, I don't know, maybe a couple minutes in that Rumble Nintendo Direct Jacob. that came out, or yeah. a YouTube video, Anything. or... Yeah. Like, the demo didn't give us a an intro to show us how cool these characters are. Because I'm sure they're supposed to be, like, multifaceted, neat characters, but, like... I would have to open the menu to look at their names right now. I don't know who anybody is. Oh no! I don't know how they interact. I've accidentally started the main bit of what <laughs> I'm trying to do. No, that's just a shortcut back down. Why does that exist? I'm guessing this isn't the only time we're going to come through here. Oh, I mean, maybe right. during the demo it might be, but... Alright, back up the cliff. But everybody, yeah. Everybody assume party formation. Strung out as much as possible with the mage <laughs> in the back, vulnerable to sneak attacks. Seriously, where is their dungeon discipline? <laughs> I mean, look at how far we've come with this style of game. Everyone gets to have a walking animation. They don't all That's walk true. in and out of you. I remember that was a very convenient uh, aesthetic that they used to do. Was... Oh no, I've zoned transition. Oh, those look like people. Or alpacas. Or alpacas. They do have little ear hats. That's like a hoodie I'd wear. Yeah, you guys should get out of there. <laughs> Resist if you uh, want. Okay, so he's the obvious bad guy we're going to be stabbing here in 48 to 62 hours. He is dressed like a bad guy. That's true. I mean, look at him. The red and black ar uh, armor. He uh, 
He looks better equipped than some of your party members in some ways. Oh my god, look at his look at his party por uh, profile. I think he's Galdra. It's like, ah, oh, look at these wholesome JRPG protagonists. And that guy. Okay. But no, Gal Galdra definitely looks evil. It could be because he's a... Uh, like some kind of Dark Knight character where you're going to look angsty all the time. Or he he's could totally... robot samurai guy. He does. The cruelty of it all. I mean, you couldn't skirt around it forever. You were gonna have to fight some. Yeah. I, I think they're weird bunny things. Okay, so I guess I guess you are fighting the dudes too. Yeah. But uh, mostly the bunny things. Those seem to be what engaged you. Yeah. Well, they're a support class. Yeah. They have some okay. kind of attack up. So don't stack my guys on top of each other. That's a good way to get them hurt. I guess they get to use the same AOE powers you do. That does make a certain amount of sense. Twilighter. Hey! Well, it's an interesting fighting system. Yeah. I've had worse times. I mean, it it expands on the turn-based strategy games that, you know, we've grown up playing, so... I'm not going to complain too much about that. Um, I mean, it's simple and effective. But, uh... I do find it interesting, the... The big emphasis on, like, positioning and uh, attack arcs. Oh, yeah. That, uh, I think that breaks up the monotony a bit. Oh yeah, dude's also two levels higher than everyone else. They are captured. Oh, they're uh, they're a bunch of pet class folks. They're monster trainers. Neat. I guess they say they use them for self-defense, but I guess there's some kind of campaign going on. A lot of self-defense happening. I mean, your party's definitely defending itself. I don't know what the greater overarching anything is here. I don't know the political climate. I'm not going to mm. claim to know. Yeah, good call. He looks important. Oh. You found the head person just sort of hanging out. Ooh. Curse you, sudden but inevitable betrayal. <laughs> oh, man. Like, political bargaining, betrayal. I bet there's all sorts of cool stuff that I know nothing about going on right now. Uh, get owned. Yeah. Okay, neat. Yeah, I'd feel much more invested in this if we came in at the beginning, I think. So I don't know if it's because turn-based battle always, like, drags on a bit, but how long have we been playing this without any real explanation of what's going on? Uh, you know, I haven't been keeping track, which is probably not a good thing. I'm just, I'm looking at this and going, I mean, it's turn-based, and I'm not the one turn-basing, so it could be that I'm just getting sleepy, but it feels like we've been grinding for a bit.
in the way that one does with RPGs. I mean, it is starting to get good though. Like, we've got enemies with motivation beyond RAR monster. Or, hey, give me that piece of bread. <laughs> in the case of the, uh, the flappers. You know, I was confusing your, like, big horn guy with Pompadour guy. Yeah. But, uh, again, I don't know who anybody is, so they just sort of keep popping in and out. Oh, man, they think we're going to, like, kill their whole family and stuff. Although, I'm sure we're still the good guys. Although Pompadour guy seems like he might. Yeah. Uh, I think you have to blow up that other rock. <sighs> Strategically placed rocks. Well, we're the dominant military force, and we're apparently run by assholes, so... <laughs> that's how this is happening. Don't worry. I'm sure our protagonist will have a change of heart once most of you are dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, those are some big monsters. Ooh, nobody tells anybody anything. And that archer totally looks like a new character. Yeah, that's going to be ne next party member. If we're lucky. If we're lucky. If we do our job right. Thanks for joining our party for two fights. Bye! He was like two levels higher than everyone. It was only a matter of time. Although that means that Obaro missed out on some much needed XP. Yeah. Those are some big monsters. I mean, you've been fighting little, like, ground pound bunny things up to now. Uh, I'd like to change into like, my robot suit, please. Those are like warriors. Does it take a turn for each of them to go robot suit? It does. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh. That does sort of give them a turn to do their thing, too. So what do you bet that when they start speedrunning this game, it's going to be all about knowing when to already be in your suit. Like as a big time saver, you know what I mean? Yeah, I could see that. Because that does seem like a big part of the management of this game is... I mean, they basically got a free turn on you because you didn't know they were here and that they were big. Uh-oh. You're out of suit power. We will. I think I have more suit. Power. VP charger. See, you've been using up all of your suit power, breaking all them rocks. Yeah. Well. And now, now we need to break heads, and we're out of VP. Uh, I do like that everyone's suit's different. Like, yeah, if yeah. I knew who any of these people were, I could still t I could still tell who they are. You know, because one has, like, the big head crest, and the other one's an open top and whatever. But, again, I don't, I don't know who anybody is. Not really. I wonder if this is one of those fights where when you beat the head person, the other oh, monsters... Yeah, no, I guess that doesn't matter. <laughs> but as I say, I wonder if they'll keep fighting. So why is one of your suits grayed out? I think he got stopped, and now he's gone. Oh. You can do magic in your cool suit. That's cool. Let's see. 
Let's say it has Phoenix in the title. Probably does the thing. Yeah. Are rations the healing item? One of them. That's fun. Everyone sits down and takes out their little box lunch. Well, now that they don't have... Wait, did they take control of one of your people? Yeah, he got charm. Oh. Man, there's so much going on in this battle system that I I've do not... I've got no idea what happened. You won! Hooray! Good job! A true showcase of your skills. Oh. No. Now you guys show up. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Good job, guys. Yeah. kind of had that under control. We already but... beat this person. You didn't have to get all... Didn't have to go all LAPD on that. Right. Wait, you stole Thermite? Terrormite? Oh, Terrormite. Okay. Terrormite? I was thinking Thermite, and I was like, that's real bad. I, I mean, you'll melt through just about anything. I don't anything think though. this stuff is any good, either. Any, yeah, it's probably not any better. It's... It's probably like it melts through stuff with the power of bad dreams or something. Yeah. They had no choice but to let him go. He was using women and children as a human shield, I guess? Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, no, I think we're gonna break, uh... Gonna break the other person. gal out of prison. Maybe. Right, once your own system turns out to be just as bad or whatever. Yeah. I feel a little bad that we're trying to play Spot the Trope, but it hasn't given us much else to work with. An intro paragraph would have been nice. I hate to say it, but I kind of wish we had gotten a wall of text. <laughs> the Last War Maiden. I mean, we did kind of have to use four robot suits, guy. It's Maybe true. Maybe don't laugh at the gal. I was going to say, I think... I think that she would have won if we hadn't have been there. You had a, get a bunch of protagonists. I think we get rewards based on how many people we capture. I skipped most of those fights, if I'm honest. Well, there's also a whole bunch of them that were just like laying down on the ground, not being a threat. I don't think we went and talked to all of them. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think we're army regulars. I don't think we have to march. Oh, we're already having doubts about this. Yeah, yeah. Empire's definitely the bad guys. All right, so that's... Oh, man! Lost Spear. So, so playing that demo, are we going to go to that purchase screen and, and... Yeah? Maybe? I don't know. Let me give it another shot. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I need a bit more to go on. But, uh... I don't know. Maybe. The mechanical bits seemed to be there. It had the, it had the the chops to be an interesting romp, provided there's a story. I mean, I know it's only a couple minutes of game, but like, were those the couple of minutes that would really showcase what this is about? That's I guess that's I my really question. hope that's not the beginning of the game. No. Yeah, I don't know. I just I, I feel like I needed a bit more introduction. It's not like this is a sequel to a existing franchise or a, a continuation of a existing narrative. It's just it's some fights and some character animations. Turns out getting dropped into the middle of a JRPG does nothing to help you know what's going on. Yeah. So, uh, with that... Uh, we'll, we'll probably give it another go if they give us another bit of, you know, something to try. Content, sure. Alright, well thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked watching us uh, wander a bit. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Catch you later.